So a lot of times when we hear about these beneficial compounds in foods, we also hear that in order to get the max benefit, you would need to eat like 100 pounds of XYZ, whatever food it is. Can, can we consume a broccoli or any of the other crucif cruciferous vegetables in normal amounts, I guess, and get the benefits? That's, that's actually a really interesting question. It's something that I addressed here at the conference. Um, turns out that when we look at the broccoli, there's over 80 varieties of broccoli yeah. Um, available to choose from and you wouldn't you would know it if you actually looked at some of them you can see there's a difference in the way they yeah. look and how, how bunched up or how loose the the florets are mm -hmm. um, but what's been discovered is when we go to the market and we look what's actually in the broccoli that we're buying there's very little mm -hmm. and sometimes there's not even any so it's really difficult to recommend adequate amounts of um, broccoli that would contain these um, compounds that would be protective and that's why many people have moved to supplementation to try and uh, alleviate the guesswork out of you know trying to figure out mm -hmm. where they can get the benefit from the compound that's in broccoli and can they go to a supplemented source to actually get that active uh, material. So what are we talking about in terms of amounts versus a supplement and and what you would actually absorb from a food source. Yeah, so um, if broccoli had zero in it, then you would, wouldn't be getting any, so right. it wouldn't matter how much you took. But um, if we back up and we look at the research and we kind of look and see what is the therapeutic value of having uh, meaningful amounts of sulforaphane in the bloodstream, um, we've kind of done some math on that, and it would, if we have some of the sulforaphane in the broccoli, it would take on the order of pounds, um, you know, probably three to five times per week in order for you to ingest adequate therapeutic amounts to give you the chemoprotective effects. So it's, it's quite a bit. Um, and so what we've done is we've essentially gone to the um, source, which is the seed, which has the highest level of this glucosinolate. And we've worked um, very diligently to create a seed that's got the highest level we've measured. And then we take that seed, we grow all, all of our own plants. We actually harvest just the seed of the broccoli. Mm. And then we extract it using no solvents. We use CO2 extraction, a very sophisticated way to pull out the active material. And then we redistribute it in metered doses in capsules so that we know exactly what we're delivering.